Oh, hello folks, back again with another edition of Ken David Stewart here with another edition of uh, Lake Mariposa. I uh, like to read my own stuff, my own writing. This is an original. Some have been following it since episode 1. We're up to episode 12 now. And we'll start at this point. It says, It's gotta be my charm, laughed Gypsy. Meanwhile, Lloyd, Rick, and Misty headed out to hear this afternoon's music. You think Misty will be okay with that guy? Asked Rick with a concerned look at Lloyd. Well, Rick, if there's one thing I know for sure about Misty, it's that she can take care of herself, Lloyd answered. Yeah, she's a survivor, that's for sure, added Sasha. I don't know how much Misty has told you about her past, but she's been through some pretty turbulent water, said Lloyd. Yeah, she got so strung out when she was living in California that she had to spend some time in a psychiatric ward at the hospital, Sasha went on to elaborate. What all led up to this, asked Rick. He'd heard the rumors before, but now they were being verified for him. I think the fights between my ex and I really started to upset Misty. When Sheila and I first met, we were very young and very much in love. We actually had a very first good first year of marriage. I think that our mutual passion carried us. After the first year, however, reality began to set in. What attracted us to each other in the beginning now became sources of aggravation, Lloyd explained. What kinds of things, asked Rick. Well, when I first met Sheila, uh, she thought I was a lot of fun to be around because I'm a free spirit. After we had Misty, Sheila wanted me to provide a more stable life for the family. I tried, Rick, but it's very hard for me to change my ways. To make a long story short, Sheila and I parted ways, said Lloyd sadly. But there has to be more, more to it than that for Misty to end up in a psych ward, Rick insisted. Oh, there was. Misty became seriously depressed and started spending longer periods of time isolated in her room, said Lloyd. She just wasn't herself at it, Sasha. She used to like going out with her friends and dating guys, and suddenly that all came to a stop. We gave her some time to get herself back to normal, but things only got worse in the coming months. She started to neglect her personal hygiene, slept all day, began to put on a lot of weight. Misty refused to tell either Sasha or myself what was going on with her, Lloyd explained. Then one morning, things radically changed with Misty, said Sasha. In what ways, asked Rick. Well, one morning, Misty just jumped out of bed at an earlier hour. Previous to this, Misty might not wake up until four in the afternoon. She keeps him downstairs for her usual cigarette and coffee, but instead of going to her room for a while, Misty went to the bathroom and had a shower and washed her hair. During the last couple of months, Misty might do this only once a week, and this was the second time in two days, said Sasha. Then after her shower, she came to the breakfast table to visit with us for a while. Previously, it appeared that carrying on a simple conversation drained too much of Misty's energy. She had just one pancake and two strips of bacon, and then lit another cigarette, and poured herself another coffee, Lloyd added. Misty started to talk very quickly and would get very annoyed if one of us tried to make a comment or to ask a question. She would get impatient if one of us didn't pass the, her the salt or pancake syrup quickly enough for her liking, said Sasha. Misty then put her cigarettes in her pocket and told us that she'd be back in the evening, said Lloyd. Then when Dad asked where she was going, Misty told him there was none of his business and had stormed out of the house, said Sasha. That was the first day we noticed that Misty had suddenly changed, said Lloyd. First we thought this change was for the better. After all, Misty wasn't spending all of her days in bed and she appeared to have gotten her energy back. Too much energy, as we quickly found out, Ad Sasha. Misty would be out all day and all evening and then when it was bedtime she couldn't sleep. Exactly, replied Lloyd. Misty would still be up after midnight playing her stereo very loud. I'd ask her to turn the volume down as the rest of us were trying to sleep. This didn't go over very well with Misty, added Sasha. She would turn her music down for about 20 minutes, then up, up would go the volume again. This turned out to be the least of our concerns with Missy, Misty. I often didn't know where she was going, when she went out, or who she was with. It wasn't with her usual friends, as some of them would phone to ask for her, said Lloyd. Okay, I'll hold it there for episode uh, 12, and we'll see you soon.